Hey guys, Andrew here. I'm going to review my competitor's Yelp reviews. Today's specimen is Window Cowboys, which is actually the very first window cleaning company I started with. Brian with Window Cowboys. It's my old boss. I learned a lot from this guy uh, before I decided to go off on my own. So I owe him a lot. Um, he's paid me back dividends. And here, let's, let's take a look at his reviews. Because it's important to learn from our competitors. You know, a wise man learns from others' mistakes. Let's look up Yelp sort, lowest rated. Let's go check it out. Winners were not clean well, and we point out to him and his crew. He was not happy and left without finishing. Never hired this irresponsible and rude guy. Yeah, Brian's got a temper. He's rude. But look at his great response. Normally, I would say that not completing a job and walking off would be indefensible. However, I feel the need to voice my side of the incident. I showed up in good faith to execute the job and start the cleaning. During, during the early stages of the work, the husband became extremely disruptive about the result, even though I hadn't even nearly finished in any way. I politely explained this was going to be a process due to the fact that the windows had literally never been cleaned the entire life of the home. He would not relent. He then proceeded to harass my brand new helper while I was training him. I tried to explain again that you are not observing a finished product. I hadn't even finished the outside windows and he was heavily criticizing the result of the inside windows. I politely explained I have not finished even one window in its entirety yet. There may have been a slight language barrier in his defense. However, it got to the point that it became a hospital work environment for me and my helper. As a human being and a business owner, I felt we were a bad fit for this client, and I put the screens back on the windows and let him know I didn't feel I was the right man for the job. He became very indignant. I also referred him to my competition by giving him the phone number. We are in the service industry and customer service is king. I have many five-star reviews to back that up. However, I can't and won't tolerate abusive treatment from a customer. Amen. I have that right. I never actually met the person who left the review. I solely dealt with the husband. The last point is there's absolutely no money charged to the customer. The customer is not satisfied. They pay nothing. That has and will always be my philosophy. That's a good one. All right. So let's, let's play devil's advocate for a little bit. I know Brian. He works kind of slow. All right. So he's not finished with one window in its entirety. He's going back. Maybe he's going back and forth to the truck. Maybe scrubbing a window and then stopping and doing another one and stopping. But you got to let a guy work. Let a guy work. And if you're not happy with how fast he works or how slow he works, Hire someone else next time. Don't leave a bad review. But walking off, yeah, I've, I've, I've been tempted to walk off jobs before. I can't think of one job I actually walked off of off the top of my head out of the thousands of homes I did uh, in the last couple of years. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've felt the need to when people become abusive. I don't, want, I don't want to tolerate abusive behavior. I hate that. It brings back memories. It brings back childhood trauma of my dad. My dad was a very abusive uh, person that he could fly off the handle at any moment. And the best thing to do when my dad was upset was just to, to buckle down and hide. And I've shared this on my Facebook recently. And I've gotten a lot of people, I even had a therapist customer reach out to me and, and talk to me about it. But I don't like confrontation. So yeah, walking off, this guy's got balls to walk off. Um, I see 240 bucks, we're only here for 30 minutes. Okay, well, it's not about being paid by the hour or by the half hour about the job so if you have a ton of gutters and they're efficient why are they being punished for being efficient at least refund 120 says who why would they refund 120 where do you make up that number did not close the gates left the hoses yeah see you can't do that left my hoses all over did not close my gates so brian owns up to it and again in my yelp reviews as i said in the last two series of of videos about you know um, looking at my competitors my yelp reviews are from insane people none of them are deserved i have no yelp reviews that reflect badly about my work it's all from insane people but um right here carl i'm sorry you felt the job was not done satisfactory okay so you're apologizing as we discussed our best option to clean your gutters was by going on your roof which you did not allow i showed you before and after photos at the time you did not have any complaints yeah, so people are passive aggressive. They're cowards. I have a guy on my Yelp page. His name is Tony Craig. He goes by TC. A coward. He shook my hand in person, said great job, and then slammed me. I hate that stuff. You're a coward for doing that, Tony, and you're a coward for doing that, Carl. Apologize if we left the gate open. Yeah, that is a that is a sin. You don't want to do that. Don't leave the gate open. You know, be mindful about wrapping up hoses back. And man, this was seven years ago. <laughs> We've grown a lot in seven years. Angela L. says these guys were anything but thorough. You know, when I worked for him, he was a little sloppy at times, but he was a great businessman, great salesman. They were sloppy. They trampled in my flower bed, broke my solar light, and their work 
left much to be desired. When I called attention to their non-acceptable workmanship, they immediately proceeded to defend each other. Never hired this company again. I asked Brian about this personally. He said, hey, man, you know, I was having a rough day. And it happens. You know, the lady was right. And it's good when, when the customer's right, you want to accept responsibility and then offer to change. Uh, for you, somehow reaching me now, so I apologize for not replying sooner. Truly sorry for experience. Thank you for your honest feedback. Yeah, lady was right. You got me. You caught me. I messed up, is what he said. We will revise our pro procedures. We can't even talk tonight. We have revised our procedures to ensure this won't happen again. Lori P. Had window calories clean my windows, screens, and blinds, as well as the home's exterior. I was disappointed in how the project was handled. Brian only had one guy come out. He arrived at 7 a.m., 30 minutes late. Wow, you want to run at 6.30? Jeez. He was working until after 5. Yeah, full day. I've had full days myself. This was not a small job. The lady says she has a big house and should have been handled by at least two people or even three. Matt was doing his best, but again, way too big a job for one person. He was exhausted by the end of the day, so I understood him missing cleaning several of the tracks. He had to come back the next day to finish what he missed the day before. And looking over the entire project, I found many items I would classify as below par. Let's go. One, one of the blinds was broken and tape placed over it. I was not informed. Yeah, you got to let people know about damage. I'm really... Big on that. Let people know when you break stuff or take a picture of it before you touch it. Before you touch it. Not after you break it. Uh, almost every single blind while clean on the front side showed water spotting and slight dirt streaks on the back. Blinds suck to clean. I, I don't even offer that anymore because of how bad it is. Fortunately for me, I like my blinds to face up so the spotting shows. Three, one of the turning wands was broken and taped. And now I can't open or close it. Yeah, come on, dude. That's what you get when you... You have a guy on the job that you know probably has only worked for a week. It's brand new. For one screen frame was broken, so now there's an open space about an inch wide which can allow flies in. Yeah. The conclusion I could say that my window screens were cleaned. Okay. So it looks okay. The issue with the blinds was very disappointing, and knowing the project wasn't handled well from the beginning is the reason I give two stars in this review. I spoke to Brian after I discovered the damage to my blinds. While he's apologetic, his response to my concern that the job was too big for one person was, Well, my guy wanted the hours. Bottom line, if you want to use Window Cowboys, I would recommend the following. A, make sure to confirm that people will be doing their job, especially if it's a large project. B, if you're having your blinds cleaned, inspect them close before they leave. True, you have to do that. I do a walk around 99% of the time. It should be 100. Make sure everything is up to par before you leave. Hope you guys learn from this. C, if you get your screens cleaned, inspect them promptly to make sure there's no damage. True, you got to do that. And I'd say as a customer, it's your job to also do this well. Because uh, I, I can only take pictures and identify damage of so many things. Brian says, let me take a drink of water real quick. <clears throat> we try to make sure every customer is happy with the work when we leave, which is one reason there are five stars as well. I'm glad you told us the work was subpar, though. I can assure you that changes have been made since then, and all jobs are appropriately staffed without exception. For any damage that was done, I'm glad to repair it or replace anything in question. There you go. Yeah, and, and she didn't take them up because I know that because the review's still up. She would have said in her review, like, oh, yeah, Brian came by and fixed the blind things. Okay. Other than that, his reviews are all good. Um, 240 bucks, trample. Yeah, you can't trample people's flower beds, dude. Be careful. Uh, make sure everything's staffed. And, hey, some of these are my old customers. You know, I guess people use different vendors in different companies, you know. Everyone else seems pretty happy for the most part. There's no other bad reviews here. Uh, yeah, everything else is good. So learn from other people's mistakes. Some go back nine years. There we go. Window Cowboys.